Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is a little special request video. Just a real quick video for you guys. Um, Matthias Heredia? Heredia. Matthias Heredia, sorry if I said your name wrong. He asks, um, thank you very much. Also, um, is there a way to make those gauges feel a bit slower? And he's referring to uh, the active turn battle system. And he goes, I guess this doesn't allow to attack an enemy and interrupt his attacks as well as they can interrupt the player's attack. Kind of ruin my gra Grandia-ish RPG dreamed battle system. All you would have to do is edit a number to change the, how fast the ATB runs. It's not too hard. Uh, you could uh, also alter agility, but it just seems easier to go to the ATB and uh, change the math. So for full gauge, this is going to be the, the math that determines um, the speed that it fills up. So uh, it's counterintuitive. So like you would think that if you wanted to go slower, you would make this 50. But no, because this is going to make it run twice as fast. So if you wanted to make it run twice as slow, you would go uh, and multiply that number by 2 instead of divide it. So you, multi you go to the full gauge here and then you just change this number. Uh, you can also put your own equation in here if you want. Just remember that it's processed as an, ev as an evaluation. So I'll show you right now how slow it is going to go if you cut it in half by changing the 100 to a 200. So you can see the bar is filling up pretty slow right there. Charge is the same but you can change the charge as well. So maybe that's more of like the speed you're asking for. And you can manipulate that more. Let's go a little bit crazier with it. And uh, oops. go to our plugins, go to the ATV battle system, and go to the full gauge math. Let's make this a 400. And see how slow that goes. Yeah, you can see a significant slowdown in your ATB. And that's basically it. And if you wanted to go uh, if you wanted to make it go faster, you can just uh, reduce that number from 100 to like 75 or 50. Personally, I like his default settings. I keep clicking database. Uh, I like the the 100. It seems to be just about right. If anything, maybe 125 or something, but I'm going to put mine back to 100. And then the charge gauge, this one will, um, you know how the bar fills up and then it has to fill up again really quickly? That's the charge. So the second time it has to fill up, that's this one. And the same numbers would apply. Like if you wanted to go slower, you would increase this number. But uh, hopefully that helps you, uh, Matthias. And thank you for your question. Uh, one more thing you said, uh, how to make an enemy attack uh, interrupt. Um, well, if you watch Yanfly's video, he shows you how to make the interrupts. Um, I may have it written down here. <clears throat> yeah, you just you would write um, in the skills. All you'd have to do is create a skill, and then in the note tags, you would write ATB interrupt. And then if somebody gets hit with the skill that has ATB interrupt in it while they're on the charge phase, then it'll stop the casting. So that's that's all you got to do for that. But hopefully this video helps you. Uh, one more thing, uh, one of my buddies, some random dude, just put out a new plugin. Um, let me show you his website really quick. Go check him out, some random dude on uh, YouTube. He's giving out uh, his free work. He's giving out his work for free. He, uh, he made a plugin that lets you add uh, as many SV overlays as you want. So you can have your status effects and your states uh, have custom graphics now. And he shows you how to do everything, and I'm not going to cover the material that he covered. But just go check him out, Some Random Dude. And you can see it right here, how you would spell it. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate every one of you. Uh, all the comments. Uh, keep asking your questions. They're helping me figure stuff out too. So... Uh, remember to like, favorite, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Uh, thank you guys for watching again, and we'll see you in the next video.